Amidst the rising concerns on the deteriorating situation in Sudan, which has been witnessing a senseless civil war for the past one year, the Chadian transitional leader, General Muhammad Idris Debi Itno has referred to that war which is just happening across Chad's border, as basically the Sudanese government reaping from what it sow. General Debi, who is preparing for a presidential election in his country next month, was speaking in an interview with national and international media outlets on the Saturday of April 13, 2024, when he said that it's unfortunate that Sudan is at war with itself, but he feels no remorse for the Sudanese government, which for the past two decades had been training, financing and arming militias that destabilized security of its neighbors, and Chad in particular. That, now that the militias have turned against that very government that emasculated them, then it's the Sudanese government that is to blame for sowing the hellfire that is now consuming it, and the only thing he can do, is ask for the two generals to sit down and have dialogue, something that he already did, months ago, and way before the breakout of that war. He had been asked for a response on the developments in Sudan by Radio France international journalist Christophe Babouvier when he expressed his thoughts on the same, and without saying much, take a listen at their conversation here. Alors, au Sudan, in Sudan, the neighboring country, Mr. President, the civil war has been raging for a year, between the camp of President al-Borhan and his junior, General Hemedit. This March 9th, at the United Nations, the representative of the Council with the United Arab Emirates called for cessation of hostilities in the month of Ramadan, and Sudan accused UAE of supplying weapons and ammunition to the Rapid Support Force. So, what do you respond to this accusation? And perhaps more generally, Mr. President, why don't you condemn this rebellion of General Hemedit, which is based in particular on the Janjaweed militias, who have caused a lot of suffering to the inhabitants of Darfur for 20 years? What makes me sweat is what you are saying. In history, let's go back a little. I believe that Chad has never attacked any country. The Sudanese regime created, trained, and financed rebellions to destabilize our country. But Chad has never, and will never have supported or organized a rebellion against Sudan. Now, what is happening in Sudan, from the onset, as a transition, we have done everything to avoid this war. The proof is that we invited President al borhan here in N'Djamena. We also invited the Vice President to come to N'Djamena to give them advice, to tell them that war is not a solution, that violence is not a solution. Because we feel as neighboring countries, and as a country with which we also have very close relations, that we felt this war. So we did everything to avoid this war. Now what is happening in Sudan is first of all, who created Janjaweed, who is responsible for 300,000 deaths. It is the Sudanese regime which created them, who created the FSR. It was the Sudanese regime that created the FSR. So the Sudanese regime is, in a way, reaping what it has sown. What is happening in Sudan is a Sudanese-Sudanese war. It doesn't concern us. But we have always asked for a ceasefire. We have always asked for an end to the fight. We have always asked that the problem be resolved through dialogue. Because violence does not solve a problem.
On the contrary, it is dialogue that resolves the problem, and we in Chad already have experience. And unfortunately, until then, the war continues. I will take advantage of your microphone to call on the two generals to immediately stop the war and favor dialogue. And first of all, those who suffer the most from this war are the Sudanese people. Then it is also Chad which suffers. Since 2003, we have sheltered more than 600,000 Sudanese refugees on our soil. Today, there are more than 2 million refugees. So this not only creates insecurity and humanitarian problems but also environmental problems. So I believe that what is happening in Sudan is a Sudanese problem and it does not concern us at all.